Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we're going to upgrade the hard drive in a mid-2010 27-inch iMac. We've already shut down and unplugged the iMac, gathered our materials, and are working on a soft, static-free work surface. We are now ready to begin. First, we need to remove the front glass. Attach each of the two heavy-duty suction cups to the upper corners of the glass front of the iMac. Then, gently but firmly pull forward on the handles to separate the glass from the magnets that hold it in. You can then lift the glass up and out of the iMac. At this point, you'll need to be extremely careful not to touch the screen itself, as the oil from your fingers is very difficult to remove. Next, we need to remove these eight Torx T10 screws. As many of these screws have magnets right next to them, you may wish to use a pair of tweezers to help remove them from the iMac. Once you've removed the screws, gently pull the screen forward slightly until you can reach in and disconnect the vertical sync cable by gripping the tabs on either side and sliding it out of its connector. You can then disconnect the screen power connector near the bottom left by pushing down on the tab to unlock it and sliding it out. Next, slide the LCD temperature sensor cable out of its socket near the middle of the iMac, much the same way as you did with the vertical sync cable. Finally, detach the display port cable by squeezing the two sides of the connector and sliding it out of its socket. Being careful to only hold the edges of the screen, you can now lift the LCD up and out of the iMac and set it aside. The hard drive is located near the center of the iMac. Follow the hard drive temperature sensor cable to its port on the logic board, detach the cable from its socket, and remove the cable from the other wires so it hangs free. Next, detach the SATA power and data cables from the drive. Finally, remove these two Torx T10 screws that hold the drive in place. We can now lean the drive forward slightly, then lift it up and out of its bay. We'll need to transfer the mounting hardware from the original drive to the new one. Start with the two Torx T8 mounting pins on one side, Then replace the mounting bracket on the other. We can now set our original drive aside and install the new drive into the iMac. Set the mounting pins on the drive into the corresponding gaskets in the iMac drive bay. Then, lean the drive back into place, making sure not to trap any cables underneath. You can then secure the drive with the two Torx T10 screws you removed earlier. Next, reattach the SATA data cable directly to the drive. For the power connection, first attach the IMAX SATA power cable to the OWC temperature sensor cable connector. Then, attach the sensor cable to the hard drive's connector and position the cable off to the right so that it sits out of the way. Peel the adhesive backing off the temperature sensor board and attach it to the drive near the spindle.
Finally, insert one end of the logic board connector cable into the port on the sensor board. and the other end into the temperature sensor port on the logic board. Run the cable so it sits out of the way, and we are now ready to close up the iMac. Set the LCD in place, again being sure not to touch the screen itself, but don't lean it back. First, slide the temperature sensor cable into its connector near the center of the iMac. Next, attach the DisplayPort connector on the right by lining up the connectors and sliding them together until they click. Then, reattach the backlight power cable in the lower left by pushing it into place until it clips in. Finally, reattach the vertical sync cable in the upper right by sliding it into place. You can now set the LCD back so it lays flat in the iMac. To line up the screen, put a thin screwdriver into the top hole in the LCD and use it to raise the LCD until the second screw holes align. Put one of the Torx T10 screws in to keep it from falling, but don't tighten it all the way. Then, do the same thing on the other side. You can now replace and tighten all eight screws that hold the screen in place. Set the front glass onto the lower lip of the iMac, making sure that the tabs along the bottom all go in their appropriate slots. Then, use a microfiber cloth to make sure there is no dust on the screen or the inside of the glass. You can now lean the glass back into place until it's attached via the magnets. You may need to squeeze along the top edge near the EyeSight camera to make sure it lays flush. Finally, remove the two suction cups and use your microfiber cloth to wipe away any fingerprints or other marks off the front of the glass. You can now hook your iMac back up, plug it in, and turn it on.